Let's get to it. Second chance <laughs> romance time. We're finding love. That's Ooh. right. We're oh, I like this jam. Something. Something, Holly. Yeah. Yeah, something. It's time for second chance romance. Where we go looking for love in the wrong place. Right here on our show. Ian and Marjorie would never do this crap. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. Who do we have? We are starting this morning with Spencer. Oh, awesome. Hi, Spencer. Hey, hey. hey how, how you doing? doing I, good. Uh, you know, I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I'm a little confused about my love life right now, but, you know, I'm good. Well, we're here uh, I we're we're the that's the least we can do spencer that's the least that's that's the, the only money back guarantee we can make you we will help we can't tell you if it's going to be good help or bad help but we can help um <laughs> help is good. thank you that's right we're going to shut our mouths now go ahead and tell us about your date with uh alexandra right alexandra yeah, yeah. okay yeah alexandra so Elle and i met on instagram um she showed up. There's that like for you page. I don't know if you all know, but it's like you basically it's it's the suggested recommended. Um, she showed up. I I checked out her profile. I ended up commenting over the course of a few weeks, commented on a couple of things. Comments turned into like, you know, DMs, all of that sort of stuff. And uh, turns out we realized we both lived in the Twin Cities. Um, and I was like, hey, why don't we just uh Go on a date. Let's just uh, meet up. So we ended up meeting up at the Mall of America. Okay. Oh, oh. Fun. a place for oh. fun in your life. Right. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Like I say, like the mall is actually a really great place to have a date because there's so many different things to do. There's like we can eat, we can walk around. Uh, you know, there's just a lot happening there. So yeah, um, it was great. Like shopping at the food court. Uh, uh, yeah, and now, um, you know, I just am a little confused about why after this great date, uh, nothing has happened. Um, it just felt really easy, and that's the thing. It's like you don't go on those first dates that feel easy and natural and organic, and it, it was all those things. And, um, you know, it's just uh, I want that again, um, and I'm, I, I thought she did too. Hmm. So anything weird at the end? I always ask a version of this. Uh, anything that you think, you know, uh, a bad kiss, an awkward going in for a hug and, and, and you know what I mean? Uh, was Friends there anything? Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Did you, did you go on the SpongeBob roller coaster and somebody puked? <laughs> no, you know, it's funny because I listen, I listen to y'all, you know, frequently. And, uh, Thank you. you know, I just, yeah, and, and I knew that this question was coming up, and I was like, I went back and I was like, uh, did anything weird happen with Al? And no, like, uh, you know, at the end of the date, I was a gentleman. I walked her out to her car. We hugged, um, and that was three weeks ago, and I've texted a few times, but nothing, nothing yet. So I'm not quite sure what's up. Okay. Huh. Well. Well, thank you for, I mean, you listen to us, so you know, uh, you know what we ask. So thank you for looking inside yourself. Again, we quote, we quote Mufasa from Lion King on that one. Anyway. Okay, Simba, we're going to put you on hold and uh, you're not going to hear. Uh, I'm sorry. You are going to hear everything. Now your date is on the other line. We lied to her and we told her that she was nominated uh, to be on this segment by someone. She does not know what's about you. She certainly doesn't know it's about her. Uh, she just thinks that she's taken part in a goofy radio segment. So she's heard nothing, by the way. So, but you'll hold hear on. everything. Okay. So, I, yeah, that she says, "Yep, okay. okay." Hold on, just a second. He seems fun. Mm -hmm. Do you drink from the water on the flume ride? Maybe it, you know the splashes. Just sometimes Ooh, it happens. Yeah. Maybe she's not a ride person. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I mean, I'm making an assumption. Yeah. Well, let's let's end the assumptions and <laughs> let's just uh, talk to yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hi, Alexandra. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Great. Thank you for doing this. Let me just let us uh, let us acknowledge right away. Um, I'm sure this isn't how you normally spend a Thursday. Am I right? You're not usually calling into a goofy radio show. 
no, no, not usually first yeah. time for everything, I guess. Yeah, I guess. You know, some people nude mm-hmm. skydive. Some people do this. So Talk thanks. Dating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alexandra, this is called Second Chance Romance. It is a goofy dating uh, little segment that we do. You were nominated. Thank you for saying yes. Um, the only thing we didn't tell you, and here's the surprise, and please don't hang up or be mad. Um, we sought you out for a reason. Somebody wants to re somebody. This wasn't an accident that one of your, I think it was a family in this case, was like, hey, Alexander, you should do this show. This was on purpose because somebody that you went out with wants to reunite with you. How are you feeling? Does that scare you? Mm -hmm. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I get it. We get it. Do you remember going out with Spencer? This is about Spencer. Yeah. Yeah. And your, your tone is, your tone is answering my next question. Alexandra, yes, that's what this is about. We did fib to you a little bit. Please don't be mad. This is about Spencer. He wrote us a very, let me explain. He wrote a very nice email about you and was wondering why there wasn't anything after the first date. So again, a reminder, you're on the radio. So say whatever you want or don't want to say. Can I ask you, was there a reason there was nothing after the first date? To be honest, I mean, I thought he would get the hint and just kind of move on. I mean, he thinks it's cute, but I asked him multiple times not to call me Al. My name is Alexandra. He calls me Al. He completely ignored me. It was like, I don't know, I think he enjoyed it for some reason. Like, I think maybe it liked frustrating me, but he continued to call me Al even more after I told him not to. And I... I just think that's so rude. Oh, he shortened your name? You somebody not to do something. Yes. And then he it kept just... doing it. Oh, no. Was he, yeah. like, singing Paul Simon to you? You can call me. Yeah. yeah. Call me Sorry, out. Alexandra. <laughs> so we did. Oh, yeah. Have you heard that before? <laughs> I, I, I get it. I We have a mutual friend, Christopher Straub, who I made or I, He hates to be called. He does not. He will not accept being called Chris. Mm -hmm. Um, So I and I have I have another person that used to be in my life that I does not like the short version of their. So I get it. My point is, we get it. Yeah. So you you asked him to stop. Yes, I I really really did in the nicest of ways. I wasn't nasty, and and you know it kind of started like when we were chatting back and forth on Instagram and. I don't know. At the time, I thought it was an easy way to address me, so I kind of let it go. But then it continued in person. And then eventually, I just asked him really nicely to stop. I said, I don't really like being called Al. I want to be called Alexandra. That is my name. And he just didn't listen to me. He kept calling me Al. And to me, that's a big red flag. Like, if you're not listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth, like, how are we going to be together? I just, I don't know. It it was very, very uncomfortable, and I was not happy. Well, I'm just going to be honest. It's about ready to get a little more uncomfortable because you figured it out. Uh, He he nominated you. He was the one that gave us contact info. Um, He's on the other line. Oh, great. Okay. Because he yeah, wanted, I know, I know, this. he's heard all. Yeah, he wanted to reunite with you. That's why we're we're not trying to purposely be. Well, I guess we are, but mm-hmm. uh, go ahead. Let's put Spencer up. Spencer, you're up. You're you're up now. You heard what she said. What say you? Uh, well, firstly, hey Al. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Um, stop! Stop! Uh, <laughs> you, you know, I just it, it's a sign of affection that you have a nickname with me. I have friends who who want one and don't because it hasn't organically happened. So, uh, you know, it's a sign of honor. Are you serious right now? Like, do I really need to talk to a grown man about how I want to be called by my given birth name? Like, without going into it, I have my reasons, okay? So, like, I hate, hate being called Al. I thought I made myself pretty clear And when I 
told you not to do it. You kept doing it. So I'm, I'm over you. I'm over this situation. I kind of think whoa, you're rude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Wow. I, I, I do get it now from hearing you say all of that. I really, I, complete honesty. I thought you were joking before and we were just having fun. I was just trying to tease you a little bit, but in like a fun, a fun way. So I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, well, now I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting star. Who's trying um, to say? Yeah. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. Alexandra, I, I'm going to just ask, just for politeness, we have gift cards to a variety of local restaurants. Um, run to run. Um, would you, if we give you one, would you like a second try with Spencer? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to jump in here first. I, I think I've changed my mind about all of this. Uh, we're not on the same page, so bye, Al. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm still ghosting you. Okay. Um, Al is not even a unique nickname, so you're not cute or clever. So thanks for wasting more of my time, Spence. Appreciate Alex, it. Alexand- <laughs> uh, Spence. Spence. Al- Alexandra, we yeah. are sorry we wasted your time. We appreciate you being a good sport. So thank you. Oh, and he hung up, by the way. But yeah. yeah, you know, well, yeah, I guess. I hung yeah. Up. And she, she hung up. Well, too. Yeah. We know things now. Oh, we know things. Oh. Okay. We know things. We sure do. Yeah. But, you know, Jason said he have friends like that. I have friends like that. I... My besties oh. never shorten her name and nicknames. I'm not personally fond of when people abbreviate my name. Or give me nicknames in that way. Yeah. It's not something that I'm going to point out, but it's also something that I'm just kind of like swallow a little bit. And I'm just like, oh. And they continue to do it. It's like, yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm the same. I don't like to be called Al. It's Lex, if anything. You can call me, me Al. Al. Do you like Alexis? Or, I mean, oh. do you like uh, Lex? Yeah, Lex, Lexi, any, yeah, just just Al okay. I don't like. I, I, have, I completely understand what, where Alexandra's coming from. Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Man. Second chance romance, Even unfortunately. It's one of the best albums, Graceland. But, oh, you know. yeah. Mm-hmm. Paul Simon is a bop. Oh, absolutely. There we go. Ooh, maybe next week we'll find love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. There we go. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Ooh. unfortunately, at the top of the third hour right here on our show. When we come back, fortunately, we have Holly. Yes. Uh, Holly, complete name. Holly, Alexis, Jason. 